Amen. Welcome back to my candle lit enclave of a Friday evening and happy Friday evening. I'm smoking my Polinsky that I got from my um, good friends the Peaches and in it I haven't got bought the packet over. I discovered it by chance when rooting through some of the crud in the corner of the room. There's a lot of crud in the corners of my room. Some um, Boswell's Bear Blend. Cherry Caramel. We'll see how it goes. It hasn't been stored in the best of conditions. <laughs> I really am not a, a very, very well sort of educated member of the YTBC after that. I tend to chuck stuff to one side and then bring it out and smoke it when I find it. But so far, so good. Gonna stick some music on. This is another musical hero of mine and what I'll be interested to see is whether David Rogue Bear also likes this guy because so far it turns out that we are musical brothers from a different mother and pretty much like everything one thing that one of us likes the other likes too so David I'd be interested to see if you um, you like this chap as well. It's not one of his greatest albums, but I've been playing a hell of a lot of this fella recently, over the past couple of weeks, and this one has just really gelled with me, so I'm playing it tonight. David, are you a fan? It is Raikou. This particular album is Raikou. Not till you drop. 1979. Critically, not well acclaimed. It's not considered to be one of his best. I love it. Really, really do. Like, the man has got such a sense of musical history and taste in past music. As well as being an incredible musician on the guitar, slide guitar, mandolin, banjo, the whole lot. Probably most frequently criticised for not being a great vocal performer, but I think this is probably one of his best vocal performances. And he puts a lot of feeling into it. Whereas his earlier ones are a bit absolutely fantastic albums, but a bit flat vocal wise. Apart from he has guest vocalists. Which the album I've been playing most of of his Boomer Story. Playing that to death just the past week. 
just something that's gelled with me. I really wanted to play it. But Boomer's story, it's got Randy Newman sings an incredibly plaintive version of Rally Round the Flag. That really, really does get you. And then you've got Sleepy John Estes, a legendary blues man. Also sings on the track. I can't remember the name of it now, but absolutely fantastic. But I think you know, Ry Cooder was a bit reserved, he wasn't confident in his vocals in the early days. And you know, he really picked up on this album. It wasn't just the music that he selected, it was the musicians he selected to play with him. Absolutely incredible musician. I first heard of him, my sister bought my dad, my eldest sister, six years older than me, bought my dad his first album. I don't know what year it was, early 70s I think. And my dad did like a bit of music. So I knew him, of him from that. And then I knew of him from the performance soundtrack. Performance, well it's a, it's a film that divides, a movie that divides opinion but I think it's a great film. I really do. Um, but I've met people I know that think it is absolute artsy fancy running. For those that like performance, it was a <laughs> film about um, an East End gangster in London that takes refuge in the West London house of. Um, a sort of a, a fading rock star played by Mick Jagger. Absolutely great film. As far as I'm concerned, summed up an era, but I know opinion is divided. It wasn't critically well received at the time. But Rai Kuda played a lot on the soundtrack. Guitars, the stones really needed. Now, drink wise, the colour of that. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking beer, beer. It's beer. even see that. Chaplin and Cork Somerset Vintage Cider. Eight point two per cent alcohol by volume. So we're gonna keep this one short. <laughs> but just recently I've got into cider in a way I've never been into before. I've never been a big cider fan. Then I've discovered you can buy ciders that are not too fizzy and not too sweet. Cheers.
So how we all do it. This album and Chuck a Khan. Another reference back because there's so many connections when you listen to music and have a wide taste in music that connect. Brufus with Chuck a Khan. I have not played this album for over 40 years. Dug it out just for this video. So maybe I'll stick that on and play it in another video. Slightly crossover RB disco 1974 that album was released. But Chuck and Carl has got an incredible voice. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, so I'm just going to keep this one short, and I am. I'm hoping to put up a video tomorrow as a VR to Chad. The most expensive thing you've ever broken. I think that's what it was. I've got a response on that. meantime I better knock this one on the head and keep it short because my videos have been overrunning by a huge amount. So I'm gonna go off, drink my cider, smoke my bear blend, find something to wash on the box and I've already done a quick check and there's bugger all I'm worth watching on. So I'm gonna see if I can dig something out of Netflix. Deadpool the other night. Sunday night I watched Deadpool. Never seen it before. I have to say I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> that was a very good film. I don't like the whole superhero thing because my girls are into it big stuff and I've watched so many superhero films. I was superhero weary of it. Deadpool really made me laugh. I thought that was a great film. I doubt whether they've got Deadpool 2 on there yet, or whether it's worth watching, but I enjoyed it anyway. Stop it because I've noticed when I watch my videos back, which I do occasionally, there are so many long pauses where I'm sitting there going. But it's only because I want to let the music speak for itself. So I better knock this one on the head, which I've already said more than once. We'll just light up once more. I just want to say, I haven't watched that many videos recently. Well, I did watch Stephen, Cobbit of the Shire, with these new pipes. Perspective of my knees in the arch of my head. <laughs> the relevant point is two beautiful pipes he's bought, one of which I don't think I could even reach the end of it. I'd have to employ somebody to light it for me. But I'm very envious. watching a pipe on eBay at the moment, which I'm not going to tell you about, because I'm selfish, and I'm hoping to win that. Cheers all.
Boy Zider. I'm enjoying it, but I don't want to enjoy it too much because it's um, what my dad would have called loony juice. Where are we up to? 15. A bit more Ryan Chuck and Khan. Musicians on top of their craft. I'm going to speak to you again tomorrow. I'm committing myself to do my response to Chad about the most expensive thing I've ever broken, destroyed, one thing or another. So I'll talk to you again then. In the meantime, take care, everyone. Hello.